Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the manual. So this is something that's been coming for almost two years. So kinda of wanted to let you know a little bit about um, essentially my process, kinda of what I expected and what I got. So this will help anybody that's uh, considering the K1 attack and um, I'll just kinda of walk you through it. So we'll do that before we get into the build. All right, let me tell you a little bit about the uh, backstory. As I was doing research to see which car I wanted to build, I asked the various companies kind of, you know, if they had a manual, what it looked like. So, for example, Factory 5, and it has a very large, thick, detailed manual. Very impressed. Um, I asked kind of the same question about the K1 attack, and I got an email response saying that very detailed. Um, they gave me a link to a video. So the video had, um, essentially people putting together various aspects of the car or um, pointing to areas, but essentially there was no sound. Um, but the first video they showed I thought was pretty decent. So um, I then asked, are there any written instructions? And they said, yes, step by step. So I had the impression that it was very detailed and step by step written instructions figured okay as soon as I placed the order um, they would send it. So I asked once in November, once in December, can you please supply written instructions and videos so I can best prepare prior to shipment. The manual will be sent within a few days. So the first part that I got um, that I would consider part of the manual is the unpacking instructions and so they got pictures with kind of one sentence uh, instructions and this is probably the best instructions I got so far so um, I was really excited for the rest kind of the assembly portion of the manual so anyway the story is uh, took took some time coming but uh, I finally did get the um, first part of the instructions so let me show you a little bit about what that uh, looked like so it was an electronic file and had two sections one was videos one was the manual. The manual um, had a section called what you will need, kind of like donor parts and things, and build photos. Again, just photos. Um, they had some in written instructions about the rolling chassis. So they kind of talked about the floor. So one of the things I just thought was interesting is um, while I was waiting for the manual, I just started working on things. So I had put, started to put together the front axle and things, and then it said stage one, floor. So the very first thing I wanted you to do is the floor and flip it upside down. And so anyway, um, it was nice to kind of get a little bit of what I was supposed to do. Um, talked about the sealant, how to flip it over. And again, I, I thought these instructions were fairly decent. So the other section are the videos that I mentioned. So we got all the videos and um, I'll just maybe show one here. Suspension and steering. So for example, this is uh, the video for the suspension and so basically the video uh, I'm, I'm not muting it just uh, doesn't have any sound and it kind of just aims and points and shows you I, I guess the correct uh, final assembly um, it doesn't really give you any torque specs or any advice or hints on how to do things but it does kind of show you the uh, correct completed assembly so just a few days ago I got the rest of the manuals I think this is all I can plan to get um, this is the bodyworks. They kind of tell you what all the components are. This would have been fantastic earlier. I had no idea what half these things were. I did en end up emailing and they were able to clarify kind of everything. But again, this would have been great up front. So again, this is a, uh, another thing that I thought was interesting. So the recommended workflow. Uh, as I, again I mentioned, I, I kind of started working on the front axle first. Or, and that's, where is that? It's like kind of right down here, steps 9 and 10. And it says work on the floor first. So I, uh, right now I guess I'm working kind of on the powertrain and rear axle. But I've already got the front firewall and the passenger front firewall done. Um, but anyways, it's just interesting without having a manual. Um, I just kind of started working. So a lot of these things uh, I'm doing out of order, but it's great to kind of finally get to know what things are supposed to be done. And uh, also kind of talks about the bodywork, the order of things to be done there too. So again, very grateful that I got the manual. 
So here are some sections of the other part of the manual, kind of the assembly instructions. And again, I think even the uh, five or 700 page uh, manual that some of the other kit cars provide, I'm sure people are still wishing they had more information, but this is just kind of a, for example, the brakes, they recommend it uh, diagonally and that's kind of about all they state. So there's not a lot of instructions. And then a majority of the things just say, see the video. So again, there, there's nothing like torque specs or how to do anything. The videos, like I said, they kind of, they'll, they'll go through and they'll kind of point to things. Um, so you can kind of draw some conclusions. And then, like I said, it's been pretty good to email back and forth um, when I do have questions, but just wanted to kind of give people uh, an idea of what to expect. So I am thrilled that we got the manual. Um, that'll really help guide kind of like the uh, remainder of the build. But let's get on to some of the uh, electricals, some of the stuff where we left off. This week we're going to start figuring out the uh, electrical as far as kind of a lot of the high voltage systems go, uh, where to place the charger, the BMS, um, things like that. So let's get into it. All right, so I've got to figure out where a lot of this stuff goes. So I've got uh, a charger here. Um, this was a, anyways, a kind of a high voltage box that uh, kind of came with everything I bought. I just feel like it's way too cramped and I'm gonna probably take it out. So, but uh, essentially I need to figure out where to mount this. Um, I'll build a new box, but I need to know where I wanna mount that. I've also got um, a whole bunch of these little BMS modules that have to go down, uh, be mounted in various places. So I gotta figure out where those go. Also the uh, DC to DC converter. So I just gotta kinda lay this all out and yeah, I'll lay it out and then we'll see what kind of things we need to fabricate. All right, so as it is with uh, most of this build, we are trying to find space. We're trying to find uh, where to put things, where the car was not originally designed to be an electric car or have battery modules. And so we're just trying to find space where, where we can put things. All right, so the way I see it is I've got uh, Obviously with this whole project I've had space constraints, um, just where to put the batteries and so I'm sure wherever I put these um, people will come up with better spaces or better locations um, and that's that's okay. Um, if, if I find a better or if somebody else finds a better location I'm more than happy to change that. Um, but here's here's what I've got, the kind of the bigger space areas that I've got. So I've got these, these sides, so on either side of the car I've got some space here. Um, I could I could put stuff um, on top here. So again, I've got kind of space here. Um, the other space I have is kind of in the back. So right now, um, if I wanted to, I still have somewhat of a, I guess I'll call it a trunk, but from here to here, and then all the way down to the uh, motor is, is open. So again, I could uh, fill this space up with uh, the various um, electrical components um, but yeah that's kind of where what we're looking at um, I, I am kind of looking at uh, just the space in between here and here since this is already kind of used up um, I could put things um, just right on top here but yeah I don't know there's not a lot of space um, and not quite sure where to put things if I had to do it again maybe I'd just Maybe I'd just not do a kit car. Maybe I'd make my own car just from scratch, uh, create a frame and do everything that way. So maybe that will be version two, electric supercar version two. But for this one, we're gonna finish it up. So we've got battery pack up front, um, kind of two battery packs here and one in the back. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna join, maybe say the driver's side with the front and the passenger side with the rear. And uh, again, that, those, those will be my two uh, parallel packs. I've got to have the, the BMS uh, for all of those. And right now my leading thought is to put them above uh, the battery module, just in that same space right in there. 
and uh, get all those mounted. So that's my thought for the BMS. For the, for the charger, I could put it someplace like here. I could mount it in the back. I've got, uh, there, there is more space in the back. Um, I'm sure wherever I mount it, you guys will let me know where the correct location is. So other than that, I've got, I still have to get like just a regular 12 volt battery um, to go with, uh, so for the DC to DC converter, it'll go into the 12 volt battery and then all my 12 volt systems will run there. And so again, I've got my kind of my, at least the plan is my 12 volts panel will go here with all the, all the various wires that will go throughout the car. So again, I've got a panel here, DC to DC converter, it's gotta go somewhere between the battery pack and the battery, the, the regular car battery and my control panel. So this one, I may live over here on the side. Again, just trying to figure out where I've got space. Um, that one, I will either put kind of where it is there, like on top of those uh, battery modules or I'll find a place in the back. So let me know. I think for right now, I'll, I'll just plan on that. But again, in the comments, um, you guys are so dang smart. Uh, like I said, I wish you guys were all here helping. Um, I wouldn't make as many mistakes, but for now I'll, I'll leave it there. And if you guys feel like it should go in the back, I'll find a place to mount it in the back. Somehow I feel like if I just stare at it long enough, it'll come to me, but it's really not. So anyway, there, there's a lot of good comments out there. But the way I see it for the BMS is I've got these, uh, these cables here. And essentially, I think no matter where I kind of put these in this general area, um, I can figure out a way to route these. I'm just gonna put them kind of in this area here, the central node, I'll put the uh, BMS modules. So I'll go ahead and start wiring and labeling and go from there. All right, I've decided to work on the uh, this back battery box. Um, just trying to get this mounted so it's secure against the uh, cooling plate as well as just locked down kind of left to right as well as down. So I'm gonna be fabricating some uh, brackets here that uh, I can then bolt on or screw on to the uh, battery box frame, the metal frame there. So I'll be doing that and um, then I will be working, so once I've kind of got all that situated, I'll be working on getting the cabling kind of cut in all the right lengths, as well as um, getting all those wires in their connectors. So a lot of, uh, again, some fabricating and then a lot of uh, wiring. So we will get to it and see how far we get. All right, so here's the plan for uh, securing the top part of the battery. Um, I'm gonna get this uh, angle stock kind of all the way across so it'll hold all the battery modules. And basically my thought is I'm gonna get, uh, got some of this tubing and I've got these, uh, these are 3 8 16 nuts and they see that but they fit just right into into here so I thought is I'll, I'll kind of press it in and weld it in um, I'll cut these to about inch and a half and put them on the underside of here weld it and then I'll just bolt it through from the other side so it'll be metal to metal kind of sucking it in making it sure it stays down so that's the plan all right so I just cut a little piece of tubing and welded, welded the nut on the end. So now I'm gonna go, uh, well, just clean it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole in the, uh, I guess, I don't know if you can see it, but in the metal frame back here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole. Um, the uh, 3816 bolt will be on one side and this nut assembly will kind of be on the other side welded to that L bracket to kind of keep everything tight. So um, I might just do one little section to see, make sure it works, and then uh, we'll go ahead and do it for, all, for the whole thing.
All right, I got the holes drilled. I'm gonna go ahead and weld on uh, some more nuts here. Um, my thought is I'll screw them all in. I'll get the uh, L bracket all the way across. Um, and my thought is I'll just drill some holes in the L bracket, kind of right above the screws. So I'll mount each one of these and then I'll just do a little spot weld so I can get them all in place. Cause otherwise I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get them all lined up and they'll be wanting to pull every which way. So that's the plan. We'll go ahead and weld and get the L bracket in and see how it looks. Okay, so I got this all fabricated. These are all welded. And essentially when I bolt this in, it makes sure that this is down and kind of sucked up against the uh, cooling plate. So you can see it's pulled it away from this, so it's pulling it that way. And again, it's I'm trying to wiggle it, but essentially it's very secure. So um, just wanted to kind of test fit, but I'll go ahead and uh, get it ready for paint. All right, got it painted. Um, put a coat of the sealant adhesive kind of on the underside of the, the tube that's kind of stuck on and bolted everything down. So again, I think everything's really, really strong, really tight. So we'll move on to something else now. All right, so now that I got uh, this all situated, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, wire up the BMS plugs for they're, they've got essentially two, well, you know, four battery modules, but on the underneath side, they've each got one. So, although I don't think I'm gonna focus on the BMS first, I wanna get all those wires run and all the batteries in and just, so it's all set. And then um, I think I'll first focus on the high voltage lines and yeah. So, we'll see how far we get. All right, things had reached critical mass, so I had to take a little break and uh, clean out the garage. So, power washed it and swept it and everything, so. Now, we can get back to work. All right, so uh, we were able to get those batteries secured. We got the new manual. Done some thinking about where we wanna put things, but again, please let me know in the comments uh, where you think good places would be. And um, yeah, coming along. All right, that's all the time we have for this week. See you again next week.